Hello and welcome to Radio Magnapina, a place to discuss the latest research and discoveries from the deep ocean. I am your host, LRJ. Today's topics, the discovery of a mass colony of 60 million ice fish nests in Antarctica, and the finding of another Pacific football fish washed ashore in California. Let's begin. In February 2021, the German research vessel Polarstern of the Alfred Wegener Institute was conducting a routine expedition 1.5 to 2.5 meters above the bottom of Antarctica's southern Weddell Sea, but to the team's surprise, they could see nothing but fish nests for the initial hours of the dive. As it turns out, they had made the surprise discovery of what is now the world's largest known fish breeding site. Researchers on the vessel estimated that some 60 million ice fish of the species Neopagatopsis iona were breeding at the time of being found. These are white-blooded fish and the only known vertebrates to lack hemoglobin in their blood as adults. The research team's mapping of the breeding site suggested it to be some 240 square kilometers or 150 square miles. This is about a third of the size of London. This was seemingly the first time the massive breeding colony had ever been discovered, as the researchers expected to find only the Antarctic Ocean floor where they were headed. Each individual nest is estimated to contain between 1,500 and 2,500 eggs, a nearly incomprehensible amount of life concentrated in one area. This is far from the Polar Stern's first voyage to the Weddell Sea. Expeditions aboard the icebreaker have been carried out since the 1980s, during which time such a colony was never detected. Only small clusters of nests and individual fish had been found. The colony's discovery is significant as a reminder of how little is truly known about deep ocean ecosystems and how they work. If such a colossal group of fish covering such a massive swath of ocean floor could go undetected for so long, what else could be out there that has yet to be found? Only further expeditions can begin to answer that question, and the Wegener Institute plans to do just that, with a follow-up expedition to the breeding colony planned for April 2022. We await the second expedition with great interest, as well as broader exploration into the Weddell Sea, a region that is still very little explored even by deep sea standards. Who knows what else could be found out there next? Thank you so much for tuning into today's segment. If you haven't already, have a gander at our Instagram page for quality deep sea memes and previews of our videos before they drop. Leave us a witty enough comment and we might even consider giving you a spotlight. Now, back to the story. 2021 marked the first time in 20 years that the rarely seen Pacific football fish had washed up on shore. But remarkably, more specimens kept appearing. This Pacific football fish was found near Encinitas, California, making it the third reported specimen to wash up on the state's beaches in 2021. The Scripps Institution of Oceanography described the specimen as a female measuring 33 centimeters or 13 inches long, weighing in at 5.5 pounds or 2.5 kilograms. Football fish are little understood and rarely found, making each specimen that makes its way into the hands of researchers highly important. While little about these animals is known, their fearsome appearance characterized by razor-sharp teeth is not easily forgettable by those lucky enough to see them up close. At least, I would feel lucky to bump into one of these incredible creatures. That is all for today's radio segment. Thank you so much for watching, and please do let us know in the comments what you thought of these findings. As we reflect upon these expeditions and await the results of more, let us ask the fundamental question, what else lurks within the abyss? Until next time.